Hi friends, welcome back to another video. I have decided to get a head start on my Easter and spring DIY decor. Yes, maybe it's too early, but I think maybe I should start right now because I am always late with this stuff. Anyway, I'm gonna share with you two very simple and easy uh, DIYs that you can recreate yourself and it is very on a budget. And the best part is you probably do not have to go out and get any of these supplies because you just probably have them on hand like I did. Now let's quickly dive into this video. For this DIY I'm gonna be using a pack of wooden clothespins that I had on hand. I've used this in a previous project and I had this pack left over so I thought it would be perfect for this project. I'm going to be creating a wooden cross. I always wanted to get one or create one for Easter or actually more for year round. So I'm just gluing all the pieces that I need together and you can do this any way that you want i am gluing them just the same size together and then i'm going to be gluing three of the parts together into one piece Now that I've glued all the parts together, I have these three pieces left. I just wanted to make sure uh, how I'm going to be gluing them together. So I'm trying out how I'm going to make the shape of the cross. And then I will be gluing the final three pieces together at the stem of the cross. Now, as I mentioned in my previous videos, in the past I started projects and I never finished them. And this year I'm really trying to look around my home, see what projects I started and never finished. And I found this piece. It was a lid of a glass candle jar again. <laughs> uh, it was a cork piece and I painted it white and I thought it was perfect for the base for my cross. So I'm reusing that and I wanted to give it a bit of an interest. So I used this uh, gold packing twine to wrap around it. For these projects, I went through my craft supplies searching for twine because this video is part of the Twine It Up challenge that is hosted by Fanny over at Creations by Favi. Now, Fanny hosts this challenge every month and each month she has a co-host and this month's co-host is Leonab from DIY Beauty on Purpose. Both the ladies are very creative. I will leave both their channel links in the description box below as well as the playlist for you to check out. Now heading back to the DIYs. After the glue had dried a little, I went ahead and painted all the pieces white. And if I had to do it all over again, I would uh, paint all the pieces before I glued them together. Because now I had to go in with my brush into all the creases and nooks just to get the white paint in there. And uh, since this is a twine it up challenge, of course I have to incorporate twine. Now I do love the natural look of twine, but for this project I wanted to add a little bit more interest. So I'm coloring mine in a gold metallic 
color and this uh, paint that I had is something uh, is a paint that I already had but never used before and I felt really disappointed because it didn't really come off as a goldish then I went in with another paint that I knew was more goldish uh, on paper and I think that is just uh, that because that didn't do it any justice either because I think it is just the twine material that uh, numbs the metallic color so anyway i did add some gold glitter to give it a bit more sparkle and i'm going to leave it to dry overnight and this is what it looks like after i'm done painting and adding some glitter i do think it looks pretty good but in the morning it looked really really dull as you can see here and also the paint had made the twine very stiff so i had to stretch it out a little before i start working with it and next i am gluing together the cross and before i add the twine i am going to add some of these beautiful clear crystal or acrylic crystal like gems and i think they are so so pretty and i'm uh, just laying them down to see where i'm gonna glue them down for this next step i'm going to be gluing the twine all around the cross hi there if you're stopping by for the first time thank you so much for watching i am your host arelis and welcome to my happy home here i like to do diy videos clean and decorate with me i love seasonal decor and i'm all about creating a happy home on a thrift budget i do post videos every friday so if you like the type of content i would totally love it if you would consider hitting the subscribe button and become a resident of my happy home now you can also follow me on uh, pinterest and on instagram i would totally love it too if you come over and say hi again thank you so so much for watching and since this is the twine it up challenge don't forget to go to the description box below and check out the playlist with all the amazing creators and this is what it's looking like so far and i absolutely love the addition of the acrylic gems making it look very elegant now i did use this gold packing twine at the beginning but i don't really think it uh, matches uh, anymore so <laughs> i'm going to be going over it with a piece of the leftover twine and next i'm going to mark down the center of the stand where i'm going to be placing the cross then i'm going to be cutting that part out so that the cross can sink a little into the stand making it sturdier and for a more finished look i'm going to be wrapping a little bit more of the twine around the base of the cross So you guys let me know if you have the same problem as i do sometimes i can be really indecisive about things now for instance this piece of gem i wanted to add this to the cross giving it a more of a high-end finished look and i didn't know which direction i would put it vertical or horizontal so just let me know what you would have done i did it uh finally i chose for the horizontal look but what would you have done let me know in the comments below and here is the final result i absolutely love how stunning this looks and like i said this is a beautiful uh, easter decor but i'm going to be using this year round this next project these are the items that i'm going to be starting off with and i'm going to be creating a little dish or a tray using twine and I'm starting off using some plastic foil to cover up the glass bowl because I do not want it to be all covered in glue. And then I'm going to be adding a little bit of glue into this plastic 
cup and then soaking the twine into the glue and start wrapping it around the bowl. Now I love doing easy and simple project and this one was a very simple but I have to say even though it was so so much fun to do it was one sticky situation you guys the glue kept sticking on my gloves sticking on the ball and everything so uh, when you do this do not take your time just work as fast as you can. Now I'm pressing everything down really, really firmly because when I cut off the last piece, I tried to poke it underneath the twine. That made uh, some of the piece come off from the bowl, so I'm just making it nice and flat. Now after one week, this is what it looks like. And you guys know it doesn't have to dry for a week. Mine did, but just, just because I didn't have time to finish up the project. But I think if you leave it for two or three days maybe two days i think would be enough so well mine got a, a whole week to dry up so next i'm taking up uh, taking off the plastic foil and this is how it turned out i think it is so so super cute but next i am going to be finishing it off and first i'm starting by painting it white I like doing projects and creating home decor that I can use year round, not just for one specific season. And this little tray, you can use it for all the seasons. And I'm going to be using mine for Easter to start with. Just imagine it with some cute Easter eggs in it. I think it's going to be looking so, so adorable. But anyway, like I said, you can use this year round. Now, while that's drying, I'm going to be painting three little wooden beads. I'm going to be using these as feet to glue under the tray and elevate it from the surface. And this is what it looks like after two coats of paint. And next, I'm going to be embellishing it with this self-adhesive uh, bling wrap that I have. I think it is. Uh, it has a row of four uh, pieces, but I think that's a little too wide for this tray so i'm cutting it in half and i'm going to be gluing it down on the outer rim and on the inner rim of the bowl now sometimes i just do not like to use my glue gun so for this project i also went with uh, some regular glue because i want it to be nice and flat but one of the disadvantage of using regular glue is that it takes a little bit more time to adhere and to dry so in the meantime i use some cloth pins to uh, keep everything secure until the glue had dried and next i'm adding the the three little beads as a feet and this is the final result i think this turned out absolutely cute and do not mind the pine cones for instance that's a great way to use this piece in your decor as a winter piece as i'm doing right now until it is spring and that's it for today's video you guys i hope you've enjoyed this that you've gotten some inspiration now don't forget to check out the playlist for even more inspiration i want to thank you all so so much for watching and see you in the next one really really soon until then always remember to live laugh love and stay safe bye